Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.dev and this is another video on typical JavaScript errors. And the particular error we're going to talk about today is an unexpected token, unexpected token in your JSON. Okay, and just to kind of show you why that typically happens. So first I'll show you like how it, when it works. So usually you'll have some sort of like JSON endpoint or you might be calling a API URL on your server that's going to return JSON and you would have some like something like this in your front end where you're going to do a fetch you then have the dot then where you take the response you run this json function that takes the response object and converts its data into a javascript object assuming that it's a json string and then we have this other dot then that actually then uses the data okay so if you haven't used fetch yet then watch all my videos on fetch before going further in this video but if you i'm hoping that if you're watching this video you've ran into this error so when i run the code okay right here this works, right? See, I'm getting this console log of the JSON data. Great. Okay, and if I take a look under network, I can see the request to for that sample that JSON, and I can see under response, I got this JSON data. Okay, so I see. Okay, that looks like JSON data, so that should have been parsed successfully. Okay, so this all looks the way I would expect it to. But sometimes what happens is that you 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 hit the URL wrong, like you might type in the wrong API URL. So what you get back is an HTML page like an error page um, that's usually like a 404 page or something like that like this URL doesn't exist but you don't get that error like you don't necessarily that's not really apparent to you because here's what you end up seeing so let's see I request this other.html file okay now watch what happens I go back to the console instead I end up seeing this error uncaught in promise syntax error unexpected token uh, blah and then it's like hello world is not valid JSON what this is saying is that technically what it got back from the API call wasn't JSON. So the API call was successful. If I head over to network, see here's the request for other, and it was successful. So you're not seeing an error here. But if I take a look at the response, I see that that's not JSON. Okay, so that means I'm this I'm not doing what I thought I was doing. Okay, so oftentimes the next step I'm going to do is check the URL. I click under headers and take a look at the request URL, and I'm going to be like, oh okay I'm calling I'm, call, I'm, I'm requesting the HTML file I'm requesting the wrong URL okay it's typically gonna be the issue the other issue you might have maybe done something wrong when you made a request like you were supposed to send something in the request body or a request header and it wasn't there so you got back an error page okay so oftentimes where you'll find that information is that HTML page with the error under response you can actually see the rendered if you click on preview you can actually see the rendered HTML and you can probably read what the error is there okay and get some more detail um, on that okay um, but that is typically like the issue when you see that error so again if I go back if I, we take a look at that error you see it's not again not the most useful when you first read it on its face not the most useful error but once you realize what that's actually saying it's basically saying you didn't get JSON which means your call went through but it didn't get what you thought you were gonna get so now I have to go figure out why my and this is typically maybe when I'll run a test in Postman, like try to try to make the same API call in Postman so I can see what I got back. These are the kind of things I would do to then diagnose where the problem is coming from. But that's exact, but that's sort of the source of that error. Okay, so you want to figure out, hey, is the URL you're working with right? Are you calling it in the right way, making like the right get post putter request? Are you sending what you're supposed to be sending in the body, the headers, um, all that kind of stuff. Okay, um, but otherwise have a great day. My name is Alex Merced from AlexMercedCoder.dev. Make sure to hit subscribe, like, all that good stuff. I'll see you all later.